As we get ready for Thanksgiving, I'm hoping we can spend some time together and talk about thankfulness. I think too often we think of Thanksgiving as a once a year thing that we're supposed to do. And I don't think that's how God intended it. In fact, I believe all the way throughout scripture, he hasn't just said it would be a good idea, but he has said, remember, give thanks. It's not a request, it's a command. And this is one of those that you see behind me. If you look at this one where it says 1 Thessalonians 5.18, it says, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. God's will is that we become thankful people. Now, I don't think that just happened in the New Testament, because I think it's happened all the way through. In Ephesians, one of the things we're told is we should be giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. In Philippians, it says, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. But there's an awesome command in Psalm 107. I think one of the things I love about it is it goes on through that whole chapter, and it's a fairly long chapter, to go through and tell you all of the things you should be thankful for. Maybe you need a Thanksgiving list this year. If so, this is a great place to look. Go to Psalm 107. It starts this way. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. So the first thing we can thank God for is that we serve a God who loves us to the very tip of our toes and the very tip of our head. We are loved, not by a God who's capricious and sometimes loves us and sometimes don't, but he loves us faithfully with his steadfast love that always endures. And it doesn't stop when we die. He loves us forever and creates life for us forever. See, I think that's what Thanksgiving is supposed to be about that it's important to understand it's not just one day a year where we're supposed to remember to be thankful. We are commanded to always be thankful. How would that change our lives? If we understood that that was God's command, that that was his heart, that thankfulness was meant to be this response to God's steadfast love and meant to overflow because we remember all of the things God has done for us and how many times we've encountered him and just mulling him over and pondering all the things God has done for you. Could you do that all in just one day? Or does it continue every day to grow and grow? Because that's what I think this is about. This command is to keep going back. And how has God blessed you? He's blessed you today. He's blessed you yesterday. He's blessed you through all of the circumstances of your life that have brought you to this place to make you who you are. He blessed you before you were ever born by the family you would be born into, the country you would be born into, the situation you would be born into that would bring you to this place at this time. And before you were even imagined, God had a plan for you before the beginning of the world. And that plan, you can see as you look back through scripture, how he has put that plan into place so that your life would be impacted today. That's what I want you to do this week. And as a part of your discipleship moving forward, I want you to follow the command to be thankful in all things, at all times, because of an overflowing heart of gratitude to God. May that be your Thanksgiving week.